Good evening and welcome to Front Page by AIM Network, your video first tech newsroom where we don't do noise, we do clarity, context and complete. So, you don't have to go anywhere else. And of course, needless to say, you need to make sure that you like, share, subscribe. And now, something very big. This week, New Delhi, India's Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman held a high-stakes pre-budget consultation with the country's most powerful technology leaders and this meeting was unlike any other. Because this wasn't just about IT, this was about India's sovereign AI ambition. In that room, yes, the one that you're seeing on your screen right now, sat the leaders shaping India's digital backbone. Preeti Lobana, VP and Country Manager, Google India. Rajesh Varier, Managing Director, Cognizant India. Sindhu Ganga Dharan, Chairperson, NASCOM and MD, SAP Labs India. Harjinder Kaur Talwar, MD and CEO, ComVision India. Sunil Gupta, Co-Founder and CEO, Yota. Along with founders, policy leaders and senior officials from the Finance Ministry, IT Ministry and Economic Affairs, and for the first time ever, startups were invited to this platform. A massive moment for the ecosystem. As Aman Gupta of Boat put it, Agla decade, startups ka hi hoga, end quote. But the most important intervention came from Sunil Gupta of Yota, representing India's sovereign compute ecosystem. He told the finance minister exactly what the industry has been asking for. National scale sovereign GPU clusters. Long-term, low-cost AI compute access for enterprises and startups. High-performance GPUs to reduce dependency on the West. A 10-year infrastructure roadmap for the world's fastest-growing AI economy. Faster approvals and policy alignment for indigenous cloud and AI infrastructure. We, at Front Page, as the voice of the industry in everything tech and AI, of course, may I add, the definitive voice, have been talking about this with industry leaders and experts for quite some time now. Please make sure to check out all of the reportage that we've put out there for you, if you haven't already. Because we believe India cannot become an AI nation if the country still relies on imported compute. This is foundational, not optional. And this push aligns with what India AI Mission CEO Abhishek Singh revealed just days ago at Bengaluru Tech Summit 2025. The government-led India AI mission is now deploying 38,183 GPUs across the country with the fourth GPU tender underway and five new compute providers entering the race. With 21,986 GPUs already allocated to AI workloads and another 8,000 NVIDIA B200s arriving in January, India is very quietly building one of the world's largest sovereign AI compute grids. Very important to understand why this matters right now. The INR 23 trillion Indian budget is around the corner. AI alone is expected to contribute $500 billion to India's GDP by 2030. But the biggest bottleneck? Compute, GPUs, energy, infrastructure. The IMF, World Bank and global analysts have already warned. Countries that fail to build sovereign AI compute will fall behind permanently. This week's meetings show that India understands the urgency. Our Honorable Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman understands more than pretty much everyone else. The IT industry worth $280 billion is being hit by AI-led disruption in software and services. H-1B visa fee hike to $100,000 per petition. The proposed higher act, which could add a 25% levy on offshore work. US tariffs of 50% on Indian shipments. Geopolitical tensions in West Asia and the US-China tech war. Slowing global demand for traditional IT. Surging CAPEX needs to stay competitive in AI. So, this budget is no longer about tax tweaks. It's about India's survival and leadership in the AI era. And just when you think compute is India's biggest bottleneck, India AI chief Abhishek Singh has dropped a warning that it's even sharper. At the Bengaluru Tech Summit, he said something that should shake every IT leader. This is what he said. If we don't turbocharge our engineers with AI skills, we run a huge risk 
and we'll have a lot to lose, end quote. Because the very tools built by OpenAI, Google and Anthropic, the AI coding agents are now threatening India's long-held advantage as the world's software powerhouse. And he's right. For decades, India powered global tech with millions of engineers. Today, AI code generators can write, debug, optimize and deploy software faster than entry-level talent. Singh warned that unless India upgrades engineer skills at massive scale, AI, data science, safety, advanced compute, the disruption will hit India harder than the West. This ties directly back to the pre-budget push. Compute helps companies, skills save an entire industry. Of course, we will not be surprised this time around as well. The IMF will likely emphasize on, yes, you've guessed it right, the rising job losses and skilling concerns caused because of AI disruptions across the industry before the official union budget announcement. So here it is, finally, the front page take. Now, coming back to our take as usual is this. This is the first time India's AI cloud startup and IT giants sat at the same table with the finance minister to shape one common agenda. Make India the world's sovereign AI powerhouse. Tonight's message is unmistakable. India needs its own GPUs. India needs its own compute clusters. India definitely needs sovereign infrastructure built and controlled on Indian soils. And the budget may finally reflect that. Because the race for AI is no longer about startups or software. It's actually about who controls the chips, compute and cloud that run the world. We of course would like to know, what do you think in the comments below? Thank you.